Hello and welcome to another Sot and Brain Hub video. My name is Charlie and today I will take you through a review of the mandibular nerve. The mandibular nerve is a branch of the trigeminal nerve, which is the fifth cranial nerve. It's actually the third branch of the trigeminal nerve and comes after the maxillary and ophthalmic branches. The mandibular nerve is particularly important as it has both sensory and motor function. The mandibular nerve also carries parasympathetic fibres, however it's very important to remember that these parasympathetic fibres don't belong to the mandibular or trigeminal nerve, rather they hitch a ride in some of their branches. But first, let's consider the branches of the mandibular nerve. The first branch of the mandibular nerve is the auriculotemporal nerve which passes posteriorly. This nerve actually arises as two roots, a superior sensory and an inferior secretory motor and parasympathetic root. The auriculotemporal nerve carries parasympathetic fibres as well as sensory fibres. However, again, it's important to note that despite travelling in the auriculotemporal nerve, these parasympathetic fibres actually originate from the ninth cranial nerve, the glossopharyngeal nerve. These parasympathetic fibres innervate the parotid gland. The two roots of the auriculotemporal nerve innervate the anterior part of the auricle, the lateral part of the temple, the anterior external auditory meatus, and the anterior tympanic membrane. The next branch of the mandibular nerve is the lingual nerve. This is a sensory nerve but also carries fibres from the facial nerve, which is cranial nerve 7. These fibres are called special sensory and autonomic fibres. The general sensory fibres in this branch of the mandibular nerve provide general sensory innervation to the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. The special sensory fibres in the lingual nerve that originate from the facial nerve first travel along the corda tympani nerve and are responsible for taste sensation in the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. The autonomic fibres from the facial nerve that travel in this lingual nerve synapse in the submandibular ganglion before innervating the submandibular and sublingual glands. The submandibular ganglion is one of four parasympathetic ganglia in the head and neck. Let's now consider the inferior alveolar nerve. This nerve is both sensory and motor. As you can see, the nerve enters the mandibular bone via the mandibular canal. While travelling through this canal, the nerve passes branches to provide sensory innervation to the lower teeth. The nerve then exits the mandibular bone via the mental foramen, where it becomes the mental nerve and provides sensory innervation to the chin and the lower lip. The inferior alveolar nerve also branches to create the mylohyoid nerve, which provide motor innervation to the mylohyoid and anterior digastric muscles, which are part of a group of muscles called the suprahyoid muscles. Not shown here, but equally as important, is the fifth branch of the mandibular nerve, the buccal nerve, which provides general sensory innervation to the buccal membranes of the mouth and supplies the second and third molar teeth. So, let's finish with a general summary. The sensory functions of the mandibular nerve include innervation to the inferior row of teeth, the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, and the skin over the lower third of the face. With regards to motor functions, the mandibular nerve is the only branch of the fifth cranial nerve to have motor fibres. These fibres provide motor function to the mylohyoid and anterior belly of the digastric, as well as to the muscles of mastication. Finally, and most confusingly, are the autonomic fibres associated with the mandibular nerve. Remember that the mandibular nerve is a branch of the trigeminal nerve and that the trigeminal nerve does not have its own autonomic nucleus and so cannot give rise to its own autonomic fibres. Despite this, the mandibular nerve does carry parasympathetic secretory motor fibres from the facial nerve, cranial nerve 7, and from the glossopharyngeal nerve, cranial nerve 9. And that brings us to the end of this video and the end of this mandibular nerve review. I hope that this video helped and be sure to check out our other Sotten Brain Hub videos. Thank you for watching.
find us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help explain the mysteries of the brain.